Hello once again, and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer, and. Hello, and this is J. Ashley Spencer once again, and I'm literally just standing on my on my bed. Yeah. Um, plus, we got the mirror, mirror there now, and we got a little monkey lamp. There, you can see its head. Um, but today, today we are um, bottling our beer. So I've got the beer behind me just there. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it's been there for four weeks. I nearly said four months there. Four weeks, no, can't, can't, can't do four months now. No way, mate. Um, basically, uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be bottling the beer. But I've also, while I'm like sanitizing the, the actual um, bottles, I've sanitized the big um, bucket thing, wherever it is, and then make some more. So yeah, and that's going to be kind of the how to do it sort of thing. Um, I think that's going to be the like, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do that as in the like you, you must follow it like this what the instructions say I might experiment so like you got beer finings that I didn't uh, finnings that I didn't use last time um, what else was there there was something else which I didn't actually use last time oh yeah the carbonation things so like these I've got carbonation drops coming along so um, yeah but I think with this yeah I'm just going to be testing out the beer findings it's basically going to be like a big test and then for my maybe fourth attempt I don't know if I actually bought any Jolly Lager this time I think I just bought a copper one and something else but then for my fourth one then that will be the how to do it how to get the perfect beer and all that it might, have been, might even be fifth but whatever so yeah, the next one's gonna be another test. And then the one after that should be like, yeah, bish bash bosh, if you get my drift. So the bottles I'm gonna be using are WKD, uh, WKD bottles and Stella bottles. And I've washed them about, about five times. So like, clean, clean them all up, like scraped off all the like, uh, packaging the like stickers and all that then let them dry and clean them again let them dry clean them again like hot water really hot water like kettle water and uh thingy like but, but before i just use like normal tap water and um washing up liquid but yeah the fourth time was really hot water like kettle water and washing up liquid and then this time I'm going to be sanitizing it all, uh, sterilizing it all, I mean. And then, um, yeah, just making it tidy so it's ready for bottling. And for the barrel, we're going to put it up on here and then pour it in that way. I don't know if it can, it might actually be able to go on here. So, yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, screw it, I might put it on that. That's a little bit more stable, so yeah, it should be should be better. But um, I'm going to just do a little video of me like cleaning the bottles and all that. I've got uh, I've got this thing, it's a little bottle cleaner. Stick in, twist around, clean the bottle, beer splash wash. Um, yeah, so I'm going to basically put all the bottles in the big bucket. Clean the bucket first, then fill the bucket up a little bit more, let all the bottles submerge, and then let them rest for a little bit, like about 10 minutes. Come back in with this also cleaned, clean them again, let them rest a little bit, and then take them out, wash them, and then we'll be filling. So I will catch you in a sec once I set everything up. Okay, so I am in the 
uh, thingy now. Um, bathroom, that's what, that's what it's called, isn't it? Um, so basically, I got all my bottles here. Um, I've got 16, I believe. Yep. And uh, they are pretty mostly clean. Oh, actually, no, they, they, are, they are definitely clean, but I just want to sterilise them. I think that's what it said. Ugh. On the thing. So, yeah. So, we are. Um, let's get this one. Basically, I'm just going to be leaving the. <laughs> I'm going to be leaving the bottle caps in there, this in there, the spoon in there, and yeah, and then I'll be adding the, the lid on top, shake it, do it as we did last time, and then um, add the bottles in later, wash the bottles, and yeah, if you, if you get me. Let's put all that there. I'll put this up here as well. Spoon up there. Now I'm just going to do a quick wash of this. Cold water. Really make a quick wash. I'm not really mad about the outside at all. But Get this the bowl cleaner, just give that a quick one over, once over. I have that literally just splashed all over me, but whatever. So we're gonna chuck that in that way. The spoon. So as I said before, I'm actually gonna make it be making the second batch today as well. So so we can turn that off now. And then now we basically just want to open that back up. Just draw right in the hands. Get the spoon. Just get that little thing dry obviously. I make it as dry as possible. So we don't want to get this this stuff wet. Uh, I believe it is. So add four teaspoons and add about five liters. One, two, three, four, and. As we're doing um, the thingy as well. Alright, five. Close up. Then, because uh, we've got five on the bottom there, we're going to fill it to five. Hey, is it? It's warm water as well, isn't it? Um, I know I've already done this before, but yeah, warm water. Literally watch this fill up to about five five liters, and then give it a little shake, and then um, let it set, and then we'll put the balls in and all that. All right, it's nearly there. So when I put the bottles in, I'm going to put another teaspoon in of the sterilizer. And, 
put a nice teaspoon of the sterilizer in and put the bulbs in and fill it up a little bit more. Right, it should all be secure. And that, when, when you do this, make sure you like spin it all the way around and all that, that all the crevices get affected. You should really wear gloves with this, but the current climate of gloves um, are now pretty scarce, so the workman's gloves so I'm sure I'll be alright. Fam famous uh, last words. set for about 40 minutes no 40 minutes 20 minutes then we're going to bring in the bottles just these Stella bottles and WKD bottles and we're going to fill it up so to about uh, about 15 litres maybe a bit more than that um, 15 or 20 litres yeah just have another scoop full let that set for another 20 minutes 15 minutes and no, I'm gonna do 15 and 15 and then wash them out. So catch you in a bit. Okay, so 15 minutes have gone by. Put that back on there. I was actually uh, cleaning more bottles to eventually uh, put beer in because these 16 maybe won't be enough. Hold oh, that, a little hiss. That looks... I'm actually going to go and get another bottle. Um, I may as well do that now. It's going to be the first bottle sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go and get that quickly. So, so I've actually got one of these bottles. Well, I've got six of them. And the first one is going to be just stored in here for pretty much a long time. It's got holes in it. How's this actually? <sighs> I swear that can just come out of the top. Oh, whatever. This is going to be my personal tasting one sort of thing. So, yeah, and then, uh, and yeah, so let's wash this and then we'll whack them all in there. So I've just washed that one. Basically, we're going to open this up and then just start. I think I'm going to fill them all up with tap water so they kind of sink. And then, um, then we'll add more water because they won't sink at this stage. So they're all full of there. So yeah, let's get both taps on. I feel like I need to fill up a little bit more because the water's going to drain out. So I'm going to fill it up to this 15 mark for while well, I'll put the glasses in.
going to be out of 20 more. Sink, my lovelies. We want them all to be submerged so they have the all their equal chance of uh, getting sterilised. Basically, we want all the necks under the water. going to put a few more, or a few more, two more spoonfuls, two more, one more, one more, yeah, the two, and then uh, close it up, and then we'll just let it, we'll swirl it a bit, but not too much, because I'm, I'm kind of terrified that it will kind of break, plus it's quite heavy at this point, so... Hoping that they won't break. Oh, they'll, they'll still be in that kind of motion, so. And then we're going to leave this for another 15 minutes. leave this for 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it okay so that is all cool that is uh, <laughs> the cleaning process basically done all we need to do don't need any more of this uh, sterilizer um, so I can put that to the side Obviously, uh, I've got a dedicated spoon that I use M&S premium yeah baby yeah, it's free, but whatever. So, uh, it's like the hardest thing to open. Um, it should be two opening whole things. Okay, no, it's just one. Oh. So we open this up. Bam. And then, basically, we want to empty all of that out. So I am going to oh, move this on the side. All you want to do, empty all the bowls. Uh, I'm going to whack it in the bath like this. Oh no, before, before we empty the bowls, we can, um, we can actually use that bottle for anything. There you go, get this. I don't know how this, can you just stick it in like this? <laughs> um, well, I thought this was gonna be easier to use, but <laughs> um, I'm struggling a bit here. I feel like if this goes in, it's just gonna break it, but. Well, it was a nice idea. If we can try it on a bottle, then that, that would be cool, but yeah, that, that, that doesn't seem like it wants to go in. I don't, I don't know what you use these on. Um, just leave that to the side. <laughs> try another time. And most people haven't got that, so as long as you clean the bottles out, then I'm sure they should be alright. The amount that's cleaning that I've done. Washing up, I've done all these bottles. It should be enough. Take one of these out. Make sure your bath cup's clean as well. If you're doing this in the bath, 
on each surface. Actually, going to. Uh, I can't believe this didn't work. Uh, that was a waste of money. Oh, it's only about two quid, but whatever. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, there's one more. A lot. We'll just, we'll just pour this uh, water on my boat. Smashing some glasses. Oh, this is nice and easy. You want to wash everything. So I'm going to wash this first and then place it in here. And this will be the first thing. Right, that is. Here, but we probably can add way more. And 16 of these little, I think they're 330 mil bottles. That isn't that much, so this point we don't use up everything. Imagine spinning it around like that. The liquid, the water, or it obviously cleans it in a circle motion. But it comes out quicker.
I'm literally gonna let them set in there for a bit. Let them dry off a bit. If you can see them. Oh god. Yeah, I'll just let them set in there for a bit. While I prepare the next stage, my back hurts. I'm so warm from the bathtub this small. So yeah. Right, let's get on to the next stage. Okay, so we're here at which could be the end of our beer journey for this first little glass. I feel like I should get a bigger glass, but <laughs> we'll try it in this. Um, I kind of feel like I should get something in case it like overfills. That's empty. Sort of go like that. If it overfills this, then that's there to stop it. So, it's going to be fun. It's about one point. Right, so I'm going to first taste it in this. It, it, it's this little Chelsea shot glass, which I've never actually used for shots. So yeah, let's, let's have a little... Uh, we'll take it slow first. Really slow. Oh god. <laughs> this looks so weak. Look at it. Look how weak it looks. It literally... It looks like champagne. It looks like champagne. That's uh, that looks lighter than Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light is light. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly taste it through the other camera and get my uh, get my first initial reaction. So yeah, let's let's taste. It's really light drink. I, literally from that. I thought it was going to be like orange. This is like champagne. This is champagne gold. So let's try it. Fingers crossed it tastes nice because I've been preparing this for this so long. I keep saying to everyone, oh yeah, I'm making my own beer. So yeah, <laughs> let's taste it. All right. Chins up. Right, let me swivel it through. Tastes weird. <laughs> it tastes really weird. See, so it weirdly tastes carbonated. It's got a few bubbles in there, but it tastes. I'd say the strength kind of tastes like. I don't know, it tastes like, like a weird combination of champagne and beer. It tastes like a really let, let me get let me get a little bit more. No, but it, it tastes like a really watery. I don't know whether I added too much or something, but it just tastes quite watery. Mm. I don't know how to combat. But it's got that first boost of beer, of beer taste. Do you know how beer has that lasting effect? It just hasn't. It's just like, it's all like beer goes up like that. So you're a, a sharp taste and it, it stays up there and then goes down. This just goes like that. And then you can't taste anything after. Wow. 
one more taste and then the tri bottle in some. Like you can feel the bubbles on your tongue. I think it's because I'm drinking it for a shot glass that I'm not getting that much. So, yeah. Come back. Okay, so I just let my parents uh, taste some. That's my monkey, by the way. I didn't point it out last time. Um, they said it tasted all right. <laughs> Drinkable. But, yeah. Um... So I believe this hydrometer, um, calculation. So is this the alcohol percentage? I feel kind of pissed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, right, look, let's put it in here. Not gonna lie, I honestly don't really know how this works, but I suppose that's what any newcomer would say. So it just had that much. And obviously when we put this in, it's like the bath. The bath water rises. Um, that is completely sunk. Um, can this go? Okay, alright, there you go. It's risen quite a bit. Um, obviously we got some bubbles in there, which, which is good. Oh, that just leaked a little bit. So it's about, it's about on a 10. It is literally about 10. Um, just say on here. Breezy region, black band, circles. Do not bottle beer, right? Sugar. Subscriber. The hydrogen it will show the original. So is it more sugar, the more alcoholic it gets? I think. So not gonna lie, for the next one, I might actually add. So so the next one is gonna be an experiment sort of thing. So like this, the first one, this my first crack at it. It's what it says on the tin to do. Well, the tin, the thingy. Oh, I've forgotten where I put the. Oh yeah, there it is. The Geordie Lager thing. Um, so I've bought in. Oh, wait. Add tea put a spoon of sugar into each. Oh, 
Oh, so we're, we're supposed to add a little bit of sugar into each. Okay, all right, that makes a bit of sense. Uh, let's go the cap on. Remember? Okay, so we're, we're going to try that then. So we put a little, uh, half tea, half a teaspoon of sugar into each bottle, then fill it up with beer, put cap on, leave it for, um, I think it's leave it for a week. Sure, it's leave it for a week. Uh, maturing, sure in a room temperature four days and put in a cool place for at least ten days. Um, all right, cool. So we're gonna leave it in my room for four days, and then um, or we're gonna leave it downstairs in the garage for four days, and then um. in a cool place. What am I all about? What's happening? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's, let's go and do that. Let's go and get the sugar. Okay, so uh, I've got the sugar. I understand what I'm doing now. Slightly. <laughs> um, basically, all we need to do is I'm going to have one test bottle, one bottle that I'm going to keep forever to be my f like first ever beer. Yeah. So, this is it. It's the, I think I'm going to, actually screw it. I'm going to wash them out one more time and then we're going to start because this is a bit cloudy. I'm scared. Okay, so the third... <laughs> But no, the sixth and final wash has been achieved. Um, and we are literally, we are literally a go. So, um, so the first bottle is this bottle here. This bottle right here. Um, oh, we got the bottle capture right at the bottom. Now to jump into frame here. Don't worry, I only do it for a split second. There you go. So first bottle is gonna have a gold top or a stellar top. And we're literally gonna fill it. So, so so so. Let's put that there. Put this on there. And then a half a teaspoon of sugar. Half a teaspoon, chuck it in, take that off, and then we'll chuck that like that. And then get the money shot. Oh, that is looking nice, man. Up to the rim, and that a little bit more. These are weird shaped bottles. So we got about that. Literally gonna. Uh, you should put this up here. Now, now the time is. This, this ain't gonna work, is it? Cool. Let's try it. Ugh. So we got our uh, little capper magnet. Okay, <laughs> I didn't really work, but it's all like magnetizes, goes down, and crushes it. So yeah, let's, let's hope we get this to work.
Fuck off, how does that work? I'm scared that this hasn't. Oh no! It shouldn't be doing this. Oh god. Alright. Hopefully that is on. Oh my god. I completely forgot that it's full of beer. On the other hand, this is on! That that would happen to me. That that is such a me thing to do. <laughs> just fill up our first beer and then just like that just goes everywhere. So yeah. It's our first beer. It's already frothing up. A little stir because got a little bit of sugar in it at the bottom. But yeah, that's the master beer. And uh it's gonna turn around. It's gonna go right under my fish tank. And I'm going to put in my little collection of stuff. So that's just going to chill there. Until eternity. Until I become a uh, beer connoisseur that I am. can't believe I've just done that. Jeez. At least there wasn't like loads, but <laughs> more than I would have liked. Alright, let's go on to bottling the rest. Hopefully nothing else happens. Yeah. Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed.